Cyrus, what are you doing? Hey, um, actually, I am finishing up my poster for the AOTA Institute. Um, and Ann Dickerson just told me that the institute she is helping organize is going to have a reception for all the participants in the Driving Institute. AAA is sponsoring it for some snacks, and there will be an opportunity to show our research on the driving simulator and our work with older adults. I heard about the pre-conference, and now we're going to be able to see research results too. Yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, doctors Dickerson and Clausen are planning a program that has clinicians walk away with a whole toolkit of resources. As a student, I know driving is really important, so I'm really looking forward to this conference. The Institute is going to introduce new assessment tools for clinicians, including the assessment of readiness for mobility transition, which can be used to discuss community mobility. There are going to be descriptions of the issues of driving and mobility and how they can be built into occupational therapy intervention in general practice settings. Yeah, the other exciting contribution is a description of how to assess driving in teenagers with autistic spectrum disorder and teenagers with anxiety. Uh, there's also going to be a description of the military program for TBI. Uh, there's going to be over 10 presenters who have done work in this area. So it sounds like we both need to sign up. The title is Driving Through the Lifespan, Evidence and Practice Steering the Way. Hi, I'm Miriam Monahan from the University of Florida. Dr. Sherilyn Clausen and I have been studying adolescents with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and Autism Spectrum Disorder in relationship to their driving abilities. At the Pre-Conference Driving Institute, we will be sharing some of our findings of, of this research. These findings will support therapists in their work as they identify when these youth are ready to pursue driving. Looking forward to seeing you Hi there. everybody. I'm Dr. Klassen at the University of Florida. One of the main reasons that I'm going to conference this year is to participate in the pre-conference Driving Institute. In planning this institute, we have made sure that we empower you, the occupational therapy practitioner, with resources and strategies and tools and skills that you can use upon your return from conference that very next day in your clinics. Specifically, I'm going to talk to you about the Safe Driving Behavior Measure, a web-based screening tool that we have created so that you can identify older drivers at risk and provide to them the strategies and recommendations to help keep them on the road longer and safer. I'm excited. I hope you are too. And see you at the Pre-Driving Conference Institute. Hi everybody, um, this is Michael Pizzi and I'll be presenting Pre-Conference Institute 10 on caregiver health and wellness innovative strategies to support caregivers and clients using OT theory, evaluation, and intervention. Um, the title pretty much says it all. So what we'll be doing is looking at the theory of caregiving as well as OT theory. We'll be looking at occupational issues affecting caregivers and thereby their clients and how OTs can actually help role transitions and support the quality of life of caregivers. We're going to have a great open discussion about it um, and hopefully we can come to some conclusions about what OTs could and should be doing now and in the future especially as our um, population is aging. So hope to see you there.